Brexit even watches, I hope by the grace of God we are all doing well. I am also fine by his grace. My name is Brother David from Grace Church International, 1 p.m. congregation. Today I am here to give you a very short encouraging word as it marks our day third of our downwatch. And I'm going to talk or speak with you on the topic, the sword of the spirit. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse number 17, the word of God says, if you accept salvation as a helmet and the word of God as the sword of the Spirit, when we can do all this through prayers and supplication to the Lord. The sword of the Spirit is the word of God. God's word is truth and will always stand forever. What does it symbolize? When we talk or when we say the sword of the spirit, the sword symbolizes power, protection, authority, strength, and courage. This means it's very important for every believer to get closer to his word. Because the word is what is going to equip you and I. How do we use it then? As children of the Most High, how do we use or practice the sword of the Spirit? We must always read our Bible. We must always study and study it regularly. We must be confined in our faith and trust in the Lord every day and every time. As we are in process of praying at night, we are always what seeking the Lord's strength and without faith, hardly we could achieve anything that the Lord wants to give to us. Therefore, as we continue to read, we have to increase our faith to the level of which we will see the God's glory. This is what you and I have to do. Continuously, God is always with us, as he said. If he is not there with us, he would have told us that he will not go and he will come and pick us again. Therefore, brethren, let all be focused. This is not the time of looking at some difficulties. It is not the time of looking at what is going on. But it is the time to be focused on the word of God. The time to focus on reading. The time to focus on praying. The time to focus on everything that we are doing. And we believe and trust in the Lord that He is going to be with us. And His word said He will never fail us. He will never fail us. And that is what we believe. May the Lord continue to strengthen you. May the Lord continue to guide all of us. May He continue to direct us during this downward and we all hope and believe that by the end of this one week downwards, everybody is going to be praised. And we will all say hallelujah to the Most High God. Thank you and God bless you. Goodbye.